Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Mountain Blade 2 a Banner Lord. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I don't do too many of these videos, but it's definitely something I should go ahead and do more because it's interesting to get your opinions on the, the matter. So what I wanted to talk about in today's video is basically DLC. DLC for Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. Are we going to see it? Is it going to be this year, next year? And basically, some of the options that we might be getting with said DLC. So the game itself has been out of a early access for roughly around about five months and we've been getting a stream of free updates during that time many of them just making good on the promises that Tailworld set out on their road after release forum post and I think now pretty much every single one of the things that they did list out in that post has now been ticked off beside claimants to kingdoms the latest of them implementations were of course the sally out sieges the new crime system in the game and the addition of the hermit its cave. So now that they have all been added in, do you guys think it's going to be likely that we're going to be getting a DLC later on in the year? Now, I personally think it is quite likely that we're going to be getting DLC for Battle Lord. I think it would be an absolutely insane thing if Fade was just like, no, we're done with Battle Lord. Now we're going to move on. Maybe some more free updates. That's it. That just does not make sense whatsoever, especially in today's modern gaming era. So then that leaves a few options. Like, are we going to just be getting free updates going forward into the future? Or are we going to be getting DLCs. And I definitely think it's going to be a mix of both. I think we're going to constantly still getting the free updates we're receiving, but I definitely do believe that Tail Worlds are working on and are going to be looking to release a DLC in the near future. And when I say near future, I don't mean in the next couple of months. I mean, probably the earliest will be the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year. So then the question does come, what is going to be in this DLC? What type of things are they planning and how are they going to be approaching this? Because if we take a look back at the Warband DLC, for example, it, again, it was a long time ago. I think it was almost 11 years ago Warband came out, or no, it was 11 years ago the Viking Conquest, the last DLC, came out for the game. That was a completely different landscape of DLC monetization, and basically the goal back then was to go ahead and release these completely separate projects, which honestly in today's modern gaming could just be released in new games, as sad as that is, and drop them as DLC. So basically these projects are completely changed up and I guess almost reskinned the game to a different era. We obviously got the Napoleonic Wars, which was a multiplayer DLC. We got the Sword and Musket, which was I guess like almost like a saga title if you follow Total War. And we also got Viking Conquest. Each of these DLCs for Warband did completely change how the game did fundamentally function, adding in firearms and different types of sieges in Fire and Musket. And then obviously Viking Conquest added in the naval side of things and brought the, uh, the map in a completely different direction. However, I don't think that this is going to be the way that they go forward with Battle Lord DLC. It would still be interesting if they did decide to go that route and kind of do just do spin-off games almost on the, the genre, but I definitely think that would be, uh, I guess, a little bit disappointing, and I think they would definitely miss the mark. Modern gaming has completely changed that scape, and I, I definitely do believe that they would definitely benefit from just expanding the current game, and a lot of you guys did agree with me. I actually put up a post on the community page and, and asked you guys what you'd like to see if they did do a DLC and the majority of you guys said a new faction and a new map expansion and there is definitely a lot of evidence to suggest that is something that they are going to be looking at back on the release of early access we got this map that you're looking at right now uh, that was hard coded in the files and people could kind of when they were data mining found this stuff and again this doesn't guarantee absolutely anything of course this was a long time ago um, and this again is clearly just the overall vision they had for Banner Lord at some point? Does this mean that they cut the scale down in the in the nine years of development? Does this mean that this is something that they're planning for the final product of Banner Lord to look like? Are they, you know, so many things can change, but it's kind of a good indication of this was once the, you know, kind of custom art that they did kind of put together for the greater scope of Banner Lord. Whether they ever intended on expanding on it is a completely different story. There is also this image as well, which is completely fan made, so don't read too much into it. Well, the actual kind of land mass itself is tail worlds, but the factions and other stuff like that is all fan made. And they basically looked at the lore and the surrounding areas and kind of created it. So yeah, big shout out to the guy who made this because it is a very interesting look at the actual kind of overall map and what things could be with all these different kingdoms split around. And we also got Elephant Gate as well, which is basically if you weren't following it back in the day where one of the developers left in an elephant asset 
in the actual release build of the game or I guess the patch build of the game when it was just something they were working on they were quickly to come out and say basically you know when people have free time they mess around with stuff in engine and of course that is probably a hundred percent true but also you know it does hold some merit that they were kind of pushing the boundaries and you know clearly creating something that they could show off and be like hey look elephants can work in battle lord maybe we should add it again that is a big indication that we could be getting something very interesting and of course this could just be like an addition to the azurai for example some monstrous units that get added to them but also this could be a special new feature for a brand new faction that they are looking to implement into the game so what we are looking at right now is if, if we dive in this is my current campaign i've got going and the reason i'm showing you guys this is because the uh the actual kind of mods i've got on does allow me to zoom all the way out and take a look at the current land masses that are actually physically in battle lord and again this is another reason why the actual maps itself do make a lot of sense because you can see like right now you can see a lot of this territory if you zoom in you can see that it is you know basically non-existent it's just here as placeholders you can tell the different textures differences you know it's really just kind of there on the map but it does show that it you know it is there and it has to be there for a reason whether or not they were planning you know why would you why would you leave this in if you weren't planning on utilizing it or expanding it later on down the line like you would think when a game releases you would just remove all of this right it's, it's hogging resources even if it is hogging the tiniest bits of resources and this is like a 2d texture plane it's still you know it's still there it's still consuming parts of your pc so i definitely think it is quite likely that you know we are going to be getting expansions into these areas later on in development and when we maybe get our first dlcs and that's really exciting so something that i personally hope we get in in a future dlc and i think total war do a, a pretty good job of this they basically add in a a brand new faction that has a completely unique uh, mechanic that uh, applies to the kingdom but also changes the stuff around them and that's something i would love to see so say for example i'll give you guys a clear example of of my thinking is say we get a uh, uh, maybe two three kingdoms added and this entire landmass down in the bottom which is you know pretty much you know southern africa gets added into the game they're basically like an egyptian-esque faction that have access to say maybe something like elephants and their whole deal is that this new kingdom down in the south are master builders that's what they're all about that's a really cool feature right they build the pyramids or you know whatever caradia's equivalent of that can be and then with their update they bring a free update into the game that goes ahead and revamps the building mechanics for everybody else in caradia obviously in their own style you want to kind of keep the cultures different but i do think that would be just amazing and such a good way of doing it because one we get a brand new faction new soldiers uh, a new mechanic that's unique to them but also a mechanic that comes in and again as i said changes the way the buildings work in the game because right now again i've got a million mods on but the actual building building is just very lackluster like again i've got mods on so a lot of this is different but you're just clicking buttons that just don't do anything there's no interaction here whatsoever and it's just really really boring so this is a this is like a feature that just definitely feels like a very base um mechanic that just is so underutilized and is pretty much just always a placeholder so why not improve it in a dlc that then pays for a free lc that everybody can utilize and it improves this so yeah you kind of you pay to get the map expansion and access to the brand new faction with all the interesting new units and stuff and a new area of the map and that kind of pays for the free expansion of a core mechanic in the game i think that'd be really cool and i think an egyptian faction or you know maybe even more of an african faction uh would be very kind of interesting like a different take obviously from the azura on top of that another example would be more of a viking faction out here on these islands uh you know obviously we've got the sturgeons and more like kind of like slavic kind of eastern slavic uh and a viking faction could be really cool and i guess it's pretty Pretty obvious what would be you know very dope with them is naval travel having adding in naval travel and some form of naval battles into the game could be really interesting giving them loads of bonuses improving the raiding mechanic adding in just more missions and stuff to do with that would be very exciting and having like all their settlements on the islands or even far up here in the north like there's a very awesome island up here that could come down and cause issues for Calradia. and again that could be the free mechanic that the dlc kind of pays for i mean obviously you would look to pick up the dlc see for the new faction and you know the faction that utilizes that the most i think it would just be a really cool idea and that's I, I, you know i think that is the most likely type of dlc we're gonna get whether or not we'll get new mechanics or just new factions or whatever i i, I think we're, you know it's definitely on the card now don't get me wrong they could just straight up decide that we don't want to do that cat radia is fine as it is we don't want to expand the map whatsoever and we're just going to do different stuff we're just going to kind of do maybe some historical mods we're going to maybe do a fantasy mod that's all 
stuff that is completely uh, you know viable and something that could happen and until we get more information I don't think you know it, this is just all speculation but still speculation nonetheless oh yeah quickly as well I want to put this in in case anybody from tail worlds is watching this and they're, you know, they're just like Jackie we need some good ideas for DLCs because you a complete nobody with no game design experience should tell us what to do I would love for end game events to happen and this could tie in with a new kingdom in a DLC so perfectly. Like imagine we got an expansion out into the east right here and there's like a very scary kingdom out here. You know, obviously this is like kind of to represent China, I guess, out here. You know, whatever you want, a, a very powerful kingdom over here. And then all of a sudden they launch some like, if you start in Calradia or whatever, they launch some like massive invasion and all of Calradia has to unite to defeat them. Because that's something that the game is lacking as a base game right now is end game threats. You need something to worry about in the late game and something like a, you know, a Chinese or Mongol invasion into Calradia would be absolutely massive. And maybe you have to, you know, you know, the whole point of the game is that you are fighting against the clock Mass Effect style. You're trying to unite Calradia before this invasion comes in. You could do the same with like, like the Vikings up here in the north or whatever you wanted to do and then maybe if you're playing in these kingdoms you know the new DLC kingdoms you're the one actually launching them invasions into Cal Radio and that's your late game stuff like that I think you know it is definitely very possible and could just be so exciting I feel like the base game for Bannon Lord is in, in a good state right now there are obviously still issues um but I think DLCs could go a long way to fixing that and yeah it sucks that you know some of it you know people can say make the argument that you know the game needs more free updates but I feel like you know if we want to see big changes I in the game and like for the better I think DLC is just a necessity in today's modern gaming ecosystem. I think without DLC, like I think I feel like DLCs are the best way to bring change. And I feel like the paradox style of like adding free LC, basically having the DLC pay for free LC it, it is the way forward. And hopefully that is the approach that Tail Worlds are going with it because I love this game. And I would just love to see it get bigger and better. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, what you guys would like to see uh, from the first DLC. If you think the game should even have DLC again, Again, you know, again, I definitely think you can make the argument that, you know, the game needs improvements before that. But I think, again, we're just not going to be getting them improvements without a paid form of content that hopefully will then bring them free changes into the game. I think that's just how things work nowadays as much as I would like to see it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we see stuff like that. It'd be very, very cool. Um, and, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you would rather a map expansion or if you would just simply rather a completely different genre of, bag of game. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We are currently closing in on 200. 110,000 subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next one.